い。ロードスマン。We just run. I'll let you tell it. No, you can tell it. Okay, where did we just go? Toby Calvary. Okay, so me and Mikey, Mikey and I, Mike and Ike. <laughs> We, so small. We've been together for a month, so today we were gonna cook like fucking carbonara. <laughs> boop, boop. Oh no, I've got a spot in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> we were gonna make a carbonara, but Miguel said, Why don't you check to see if there's any tables at Toby Carvery? Because we've tried to come to Toby Carvery like two, three times. Every single time there's like no bookings, like they don't take any bookings or like they're, they're full up. Basically, anyway. So <laughs> I say, Okay, we check online and there's a table. We go for a Toby Carvery. There are so many rude people here. One of the women, she was just so rude, just like mocking and patronizing this girl. It was her third day as a chef. Like, I just felt like telling her to fucking piss off. Anyway, we eat our dinner. Very nice. Was yours nice? Yeah, it was all right. The gammon was a bit salty. Yeah, because you douse it in salt. The salt didn't <laughs> get to the gammon, it was all the vegetables. The they ask us if we'd like any dessert. We say no, because mm. we've got profits at home from Sainsbury's we bought earlier, two pound sixty instead of three pound 10. Putting it home. <laughs> and then, <laughs> mommy please. Every time me and Mikey go anywhere to eat or we, or we do anything that like even entails a tiny bit of talking, Mikey will say, "Dim's not talking," because <laughs> <laughs> he gets he gets a little bit anxious, don't you? You don't really you don't really like it, but well, you you have to have something that you're best at. Yeah, being funny, pretty, the best, the better half, better than anyone you've ever been with before. And yeah, I will be keeping that in. I say no, like we wouldn't, we won't get any pudding. Please can we have the bill? <laughs> We're sat there quite a while and I'm observing a few other tables and Mikey's just fucking ripping into my... <laughs> I don't know what was that funny. I was just watching a table eat their pudding. You're almost breaking your neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then the woman I say, oh, can we pay, please? And the woman comes over with the card holder, and she goes, <laughs> she goes, I, what did she say? Are you, <laughs> are you paying together? Are you paying together? As in, like, is one person paying for all are of it, or are you splitting or... the bill? But she said, are you paying together, or am I? <laughs> what did she oh, say? I can't. <laughs> uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just pay for all of it in one go. <laughs> She obviously can sense how awkward it was. So she goes, Would you like the receipt? <laughs> Where did she think she was from? I don't know. That was a bad accent. Where was she from? From Scotland. Well, would you like the receipt? <laughs> Did you like that I see? That's it. <laughs> that was so mischievous. We've been feeling pretty mischievous it's today. Been a pretty mischievous night. Still doing that Polaroid in there. <laughs> you thinking there's lightning? The selfie. Kiss the camera and say bye. Mm. <laughs> 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 Anything to say, Pop Pop? No, oh, bugger off. I'd like to say to all your friends, fake off. Okay, you're so cute, say. <laughs> oh. I watched the. Um... <laughs> I just stole the kiss. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> you guys, I've been feeling. Oh, I've been feeling so mischievous these past few days. Also, I just scratched my arm because I was like, why does my arm hurt? It's because. Ew, my, my implant is like there and I can feel it and I hate that. I hate it. I hate that feeling. Also, I don't know if this is very level. It's literally not. It's literally not. Wait. Bear with. I don't know. I don't know if this is even like straight. Also, I am just wearing, just wearing a bra, a beanie and my fucking Percy Pig onesie. 
Anyway, how are y'all? I've just been feeling so absolutely crazy these past few days. Um, so crazy, I haven't washed my hair. <laughs> um, I really need to wash it though, it's so greasy. I would show you, but- like, Ah! No, look at it. Fucking grease trap in there. I, I fucking emptied grease traps, which were nicer to look at than this in my time. So yeah, that is why I'm wearing a beanie inside. Also because I will live and die in this beanie. There are, there are items of- there are, there are items of clothing of mine that I will live, breathe and die in. One of them being this beanie, another one being my beer top, another one being my minion hoodie and another one being the black dress that I literally always wear. I will live, breathe and die in those clothes. Let me go with those clothes. I'm gonna sneeze. Come on. Just do it. Oh, sometimes when I sneeze, it's because there's just so much sleigh build up that I just have to let some of it out into the atmosphere, which is why my room is so slay. Anyway, today, I've had such a productive day today. I edited a vlog in two hours, which is unheard of for me because of how distracted I get, but I did it in two hours at Cafe Nero because me and Mikey went to sit in a Cafe Nero. I have done all of my, basically, this is vlog 99, but for vlog 100, I have so many plans. One of which, I was gonna wait and just say it all in vlog 100, but you pretty much know by now, because I've announced it on Instagram and TikTok and also I alluded to it for so long before I actually like started it but I'm doing a podcast I'm starting my own podcast it's going to be called the rough as rats podcast I'll link everything down below for it because I've got a separate Instagram and a separate YouTube channel for it because I'm going to do an audio and a video version basically I'm literally doing this all on my own like I don't I don't have funding this is all me so one of my best friends Grace kindly bought me like a soundboard and a microphone for my birthday which is so cool look how I've decorated it rat also I've got a cold not slay anyway so I did a photo shoot for that today and I took a load of pictures to post as like the promo post to like announce when it's being um released which is next Sunday so I have quite a lot to do in this week because I'm working Tuesday to Wednesday Tuesday to Wednesday, I wish. Tuesday to Friday, like always. But this week I've got to film everything and edit vlog 100 to upload it on Sunday. I have to film, oh fuck, I forgot about the little promo video I'm doing for vlog 100. Oh God, I, I forgot how much I've got planned. So I'm really gonna have to utilize my time and not be lazy after work. I'm just gonna have to keep just pushing forward because I need to film and edit and upload the whole vlog 100. I need to film and edit and upload the podcast. I need to actually make like a domain for the audio side of the podcast uh, that's something I haven't done yet which is definitely need to do I need to upload this vlog on Wednesday I have something else for vlog 100 that I wanted to like do and I really want to do it and I don't really want to compromise doing that so I'm gonna have to start that pretty much immediately very soon so this week's gonna be a busy week it's gonna be busy but it's gonna be good and after vlog 100 I'm doing like a vlogmas of sorts I'm doing the 12 days of rapmas because I was gonna do rap vent where I uploaded every day but that's literally not possible and um, if I wasn't working it would be but I am working so it's not so I'm doing the 12 days of rapmas which is gonna be slay hopefully but yeah tonight I need need to wash my hair so unbelievably much I really need to do that and I really need to start on this to-do list somewhere I need to write a to-do list I think that would be a good first step but yeah anyway I've just been feeling so mischievous at the moment because today like we went to Cafe Nero and then afterwards we got into the car to take Mikey back to his house because he has work and he went and got the parking ticket and I like pulled up to go get him and I literally just kept driving off and then as soon as he got close I would just drive off again I was just feeling so silly I don't even know what got into me and I was like belly laughing at it I don't even know like <sighs> me and Mikey when we're together unstoppable force I'm sorry but like yesterday we went to London on the tube and he kept making fart noises and then blaming it on me and this tube was like packed full of people we were shoved in there like sardines I said what has gotten into you you're being so crazy and mischievous we are oh, unstoppable force I'm telling you I'm gonna write a to-do list now I'm gonna write a to-do list and I'm gonna hopefully get started on the to-do list. But before I get started on the to-do list, I'm gonna fucking wash my hair. I'm gonna have a shower and wash my hair because I really need to because I think I'm gonna stay at Mikey's tonight when he finishes work. I'll go and get him and then I'll stay at his house because tomorrow he wants to go bed shopping. Literally don't ask. And I have kindly been gifted a voucher from German Donna Kebab and um, a really fucking fancy one because they're doing a whole new thing for two for Tuesdays. Two for one Tuesdays, something like that. I'm absolutely full of mucus right now. Two for one Tuesdays. Come on now. And I'm gonna oh see even that was mischievous anyway. I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna get cracking. I really need to blow my nose. Oh my god. I've got a handkerchief over here. My dad always carries a hanky so uh slay <sighs> uh, I tasted that and half of my foundation came off nice also if I do step Mikey's tonight I've got a pack of 
bloody overnight bag and then uh, go from there. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get cracking on this because I really need to do that. Anyway, <laughs> yo! Guys, devastating news. Devastating news. Apart from the fact that I look like this, devastating news is that this cold has just absolutely penetrated my nose at the speed of light. I said that the other day to Mikey and he went, I think I was in a light year. And he went, do you know what a light year is? It's actually a measure of distance, not time. I said, who the flip do you think I am? Of course I know that. Me when I lie. Okay, I need to like sort my hair out. It's giving, it's giving nothing. It's giving nothing, but that tied back looks even weirder. <laughs> You're just like Papa. You are just like Papa. <laughs> My family are literally in bed right now. It's literally like, oh, oh, I was gonna say almost midnight. It's like 20 past. Oh, I've got a scrunchie on, so the back of it looks really weird. It's like 20 past, um, <laughs> look at my hat. That's so crazy. It's like 20 past, uh, 11. I washed my hair tonight. Oh my God, yeah, guys. I literally forgot I had to tell you about that. Guys, I guys. <laughs> guys, I forgot I told you that, that I needed to wash my hair, but well, I did it. Awesome. Also, I, I literally, Mikey always stays here so I never have to pack an overnight bag. So I was really hyping myself up to do it. And also another piece of information that you might want to know. Yeah, my my nose is so full of snot. Literally, it came on so quick, so fast, so furious. I didn't know they were filming another movie up there because it's so fast and furious. Um, Today has been such a productive day. I am hashtag so proud of myself. Also, oh my God, this is so funny. Get this, right? So I have snotty tissues everywhere. That is fucking vile. Anyway, so get this. The other day, so yesterday was my six month, like, sobriety in terms of like i have an i am sober app which like track how many days weeks months whatever i go without doing something and you can put in whatever you want so i put in how many like how long i've gone without self-harming and how long i've gone without offing myself and yesterday was my six month like anniversary it's been six months since i've done it which is huge for me such a big achievement like i am actually really proud of myself i never give myself credit for anything and that's not like a beg for attention but like i don't because i'm not like that you know what i mean i'm never like oh well done Maze. you know it's like the fucking joker looking in the mirror being like you did a good thing today do you know what i mean sorry i gotta turn my light out <laughs> today i hit six months which is like like i said for me huge and my mum was like i'm super proud of you but she was more proud of the fact that i called up the kebab shop to place the order because if there's one thing <laughs> If there's one thing you should know about me is that I have such a bad fear of speaking on the phones because whenever I speak on the phone, I'm so in my head about what I'm doing. My words don't come out properly. I start saying things in the wrong order. Like, it makes me so anxious. I just hate it so, so much. But I called up the kebab shop and I tell my mum and she was like, she like screamed. She was like, I am so proud of you. I hope you're proud of yourself. This is amazing. And I was like, hey bags being my ultimate hype woman. And today, I did something today that I was really proud of proud of i just took some keychains of my keys i'm so proud of myself oh, i zoomed in because my keys had about i have my car key and my house key on my keys and i had about eight or nine key rings so i literally have two on there now me and mikey have a matching one fun fact about my relationship which i obviously just don't stop talking about lol sorry to be that guy but when me and mikey first went on our first date we went to london we went to the lego store and oh my god i was so nervous to hold his hand and he was so nervous to hold my hand and it's so funny because i instigated the first move lol yeah, we went to London, I was so nervous because I was really nervous to hold his hand. Oh, but when we went to London, we went to the Lego store and we got matching, um, Death Maul. Da Death, lol, can you tell I've not watched Star Wars? Darth Maul, um, key rings. So I've kept that one on there. And it's so funny because then we saw a, a tattoo, which was a cross between Darth Maul and Biggie Smalls. And it was called Biggie Maul. And it just makes me laugh so much every time I think about it. I'm sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> look, look how empty my keys look. Anyway. I need to go now, it's gonna be so cold outside. Ooh, I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. Shit, I didn't bring socks. Or pants. Maze, what's what the flip's wrong with you? I am wearing a pair of pants now, but like obviously you always want a little backup just in case you shit yourself, which is a genuine fear of mine, so totally valid to bring a spare pair, you know? Oh fuck, I was gonna bring my charger as well. Oh my god, see me stressing about packing an overnight bag and then not packing anything I need. Hello? Which one's it? This one. Okay, cool. Right. This is me. <laughs> Look at that, that looks ridiculous. This is me on my way to stay at my boyfriend's house knowing that he has a single bed so that we are going to be cramped on it. Wouldn't change it for the world apart from my wood. That's why we're going bed shopping tomorrow. Hello? It's so funny because. Oh, no, that's not funny. Excuse me, Sivu. Um, every time. Me and Mikey see each other. I always 
see like it gets to the point in your relationship there it's like an unspoken thing that one of you is going to stay around the other person's house whatever oh my god it's so cold because basically my work is essentially closer to mikey's house than it is to mine but oh i'm so sorry i don't know what just happened there okay um mikey's house is closer to my work than mine is technically oh someone stood there we know how i feel about the dark it's so dark, honey. <laughs> I'm so scared. That's my indicator off. What the flip is happening? Mikey's house is technically close to my work. Hello? Then my house is. But whenever he's like, do you want to stay at mine? I'm like, uh, can we stay at mine? Because I've got a double bed and he's got a single bed. So I'm always just like, oh, let's stay at my house. And also because I'm so lazy and I'm like, oh, I don't want to pack on my makeup and like a change of clothes because I'm so unbelievably lazy. But I love spending time at Mikey's house. So I don't know why I don't go more often. So today he was like, do you want to stay around tonight? And I was like, nah, you're finishing late. I'm probably just going to stay around. And I was like, absolutely flip it. I'm going to stay around yours anyway. Hello! Ah, anyway, but yeah, he does have a single bed, but you know, <laughs> modern problems, modern solutions. We're going to find him a double bed. His bed is for a single for a singular bed, it is actually quite comfy. Slay credit given where slay credit is due. Printed and the memory foam mattress topper. Sorry, it has to be done. It's so cold. Hit up. You guys, it's been a sudden decline. I'm bed bound. I'm joking, just turning in for the night, but I feel like ass. The rough as rats I look like one of the grandparents from Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory or whatever the flip is called. My need to sneeze is absolutely off the charts and my sleigh-ometer is at an all-time low. So if you don't hear from me, you know what's happened. I'm gone. I've been devoured by my own mucus. Good night. Guys, I feel like I'm being... <coughs> I feel like I'm being absorbed by my own mucus. I'm such a bad cold, don't I? Batch yeah. for me. <laughs> How many snotty tissues are on your desk? Too many. I literally just felt so mischievous about like leaving them all over your room. It's kind of like Hansel and Gretel vibes. <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to lose you. <laughs> Not as long as this snot's trailing off yeah. my nose. Like i got a giant snail living in there. <laughs> Anyway, we are... Where are we going? We're going to get... Sorry, I was so cute when I said... Go. German Donner Kebab. We're going to German Donner Kebab because they very kindly asked if I would like to go for a little meal in return for a little video. And I've been before and it was absolutely... Oh, hello. Absolutely delicious poos. So going back again, Mikey pays for a lot of the dates we go on. So I thought it was only fair to bring him... To get yeah, pay for this date with your fame. <laughs> this free gifted kebab because it's all about balance. Mm. <laughs> oh, there's so much snot running. Have you got a tissue on like, your tongue? Yeah, yeah, I've got a tissue. I can't use my sleeve because, first of all, it's disgusting. Mm. And the second of all, it's white. Also, I'm wearing my kebab jumper, but I've spilled so much shit down the front of it. It's disgusting. Anyway, let's go get a kebab. I think I'm going to get the same one as last time because it was fucking delish. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> I had like three forms of breakfast this morning. You had two? You had a... No, I had pizza, brownie and wet breakfast. Oh, brownie had half a bite. Give it a rest. It was still a type of food. Wet breakfast. Can you clarify what that is? <laughs> bit of cereal and milk. Classic. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go. And a bowl and a spoon. Right, let's go. You ready? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. They're from Waggers. <laughs> right, let's go. Woo! <laughs> no, not again. No. Please, I'll do it. I'll, I'll get. <laughs> oh. Guys, <laughs> I'm feeling dead AF right now. Thank you, Maul. <laughs> oh, so gross. Can you see how much snot there is right <laughs> now? No, my gay! <laughs> I need my crusty blue roll. Clish. What do you think? Smash. 
I just look like I'm about to die. Yeah, you do. Guys, I'm currently walking past the Slug and Lettuce, which is where I kissed the 30 year old man I was speaking to for the first time. Oh, England have scored at a Christmas party last year. What was wrong with me? 30 years old, he was 10 years older than me. 